In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Life Noble Note hardcover notebook. I'll go over the specs, I'll do a paper test, and I'll tell you what I like and don't like about this notebook coming up. Blake here with Blake's Broadcast. On this channel, I review fountain pens, paper, and ink, and as always, I put links in the show notes in the description below. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps out my channel. All right, let's get on with the review. So this is the Life Noble book hardcover notebook. This is a relatively new notebook from life. In terms of features, well, the main thing that really I thought was interesting is this sort of corner elastic, and then we have a colored book block. Now, these notebooks come in this smaller A6 size. I bought the A6 size because, unfortunately, these notebooks are pretty expensive. This A6 size is, I believe, a little over $30, which is a lot for a small notebook like this. Now, you do get 96 sheets, which is 192 pages. You have one nice uh, ribbon bookmark. We have an eight millimeter ruling. They do a dot grid and a blank version. And depending on the page style, you have a different color book block. I think it's, it's pretty cool. I like the form factor. I like this A6 size, actually. It's, it's pretty nice. I mean, I wouldn't want to use this as my daily journal, but it's something to you know throw in a bag. I, I think it works pretty well, just in terms of sizing, you can see this is sort of, this is our blocker, uh, paper mine blocker notebook, which is a slightly smaller than a B6 size, but you can just see the difference here. And then we have a paper mined Cosmo Airlight notebook. And unfortunately, I just learned today that they are discontinuing Cosmo Airlight paper. So we do have stock of these. We're going to try to make a twin ring version with the 92 GSM version of Cosmo Airlight. So we'll have some of these left. But anyway, just so you can see the size here, it is a small notebook. And this is quite a lot for over $30. That's pretty expensive. Now, we'll kind of come in here a little bit. So you can see, again, eight millimeter rule here, made in Japan, and we have the L writing paper, which is life's proprietary writing paper. It is a cream colored paper. It has a laid kind of watermark to it. It's very nice to write on, very smooth. It's a paper that I definitely like quite a bit. So let's remove the belly band here. And looking at the cover, we have life, Noble Note, kind of debossed in the cover there. Looks pretty nice. I would say for a hardcover, it's relatively flexible. It's not that stiff. However, like the textured faux leather definitely does have kind of a, a stiff plasticiness to it. It does feel good quality, but it's not, you know, soft and supple like some other faux leather covers that we have seen before. Now, colored book block, which I really like. And again, for the ruled one, you get a blue one on the back. Nothing there, just you can see more of this sort of strange corner cover. I think it looks pretty good. I like that they put a pattern in it. Now with the corner elastic, you know, I don't think it's probably as secure as the full length elastic that you would normally see on a moleskin. However, this doesn't have any pockets, so you probably not gonna be shoving receipts or business cards in there like you might be doing in a different notebook. So I don't, it's probably not that big of a deal if you're only securing it on one side. Now we have a gray paste down here and then we go into the ruled paper. It's a laid paper, but it's very smooth. It has a rather, a relatively nice bookmark here, very thin and flat. And it's a nice sort of bright silvery color. Going to the, the paper test, this is the same L writing paper that I showed in the Noble Note Mini that I did in my mini notebook comparison review. I'll put a link to that up in the corner, but it's the same paper as this. I don't know if they specify the, the exact weight of this paper. My guess is it's around 80 or, or 90 GSM, but hard to know for sure. In terms of the face of this, looks really good. Not seeing any feathering. All of the pens have a really nice look to them. Now in terms of bleeding, didn't really see too much, maybe just a spot here on the 2.4 millimeter Pilot Parallel pen. That is a very wet pen as is the six millimeter version. The rest of the fountain pens look really good. Now we do see some spotting on the Rollerball pens, Uniball Air Micro, Pentel Energel 1.0 millimeter, Pilot V10 1.0 millimeter, 
Those are very wet. Well, I shouldn't say they're very wet. The, the, the Pilot V10 and the Pilot Energel, the 1.0 millimeter ones, those are quite wet. However, you know, the Uniball Air Micro is a pretty standard roller ball, 0.5 millimeter, and we do see some spotting there. We also see a bit of spotting with the Stabilo sensor. That's a 0.3 millimeter fine liner. And then going over to the back here, we didn't actually get much in, there's no bleeding on the Pentel sign pen, the 2.0 millimeter one. Got some spotting on the usual troublemakers, the two permanent markers, the Pilot Oil drawing pen, and the Copic sketch. Overall, I consider this a very fountain pen friendly paper. You know, you're not gonna wanna use Pilot parallel pens on this. It's just, although to be fair, they didn't really do that badly. You could if you, if you wanted to. Uh, but those were the only ones that had maybe just a touch of bleeding. But overall, really nice to write on this paper. It's super smooth, super nice. If you like a smooth paper, this is a, a very nice one. You know, my only reservation with this notebook is the price. I, I'm not sure why it's as expensive as it is. It's nice quality. The notebook does definitely lay flat. They did a good job with the binding, 16 page signatures here. That's pretty much it. So what are my pros and cons for the Life Noble Book hardcover notebook? I think the biggest pro here is the build quality. Like most Life products, this is put together really nicely. Uh, there's a number of design details that I, I like here. I like this diagonal uh, elastic. I think that it works pretty well and it looks really cool. I like the colored book block. I'm a sucker for a colored book block, so. Really like that. It's stitched, it lays flat, you know, just good quality binding. We have the Life uh, L writing paper, which is a very nice, smooth, laid writing paper. Works well with fountain pens. It's a very enjoyable notebook all around. In terms of cons, the biggest con here is definitely the price. I think this B6 size is a little over $30, which is really expensive. In terms of the paper, the L writing paper, which I, I do personally really like, it does not do that well with rollerball pens. You will get some bleed through with that. And if you go with really wet fountain pens, you will also see some bleeding there. But for the most part, very fountain pen friendly and very nice uh, to write on. But really that biggest con for me is the price. I think it's a bit too expensive. That's pretty much it. Do you guys have this notebook? Do you like this notebook? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you like this video, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more fountain pen paper and ink videos, please hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much and until next time. <laughs>